Hello again everyone, this is Scott with InMotion Hosting. Uh, in this video we're going to go over adding categories to your Precious Shop store. All right, the first thing you want to do is log into your admin panel, which you can see I've already done here. And they're going to find the categories area, which is under the catalog tab, which is right here in the upper left of the uh, screen, and then the categories option. All right. Give that a click, it brings us to the categories listing page. Uh, you can see the three default categories already listed. These were put in during the installation of Press Shop. Uh, you can remove those if you like by going over to the far right and clicking on the delete icon, which looks like a trash can. Uh, so that'll help you get rid of those if you don't like them there. Uh, but we're here to add new ones today. So we'll go up to this little add new button. Looks like a green circle with a plus on it. All right, it brings us to the basic information page for a category. All right, I'm going to roll down these fields here as we fill them in, explain what they do. First you give it a name, I'm going to give it a Samsung name here. I'm going to do Samsung categories. And next we have a displayed option. Uh, green check means that it's going to be enabled, it will show up on the main uh, store once we're finished. If you want to turn it off for any reason, go ahead and click that, that red X there. Uh, we're going to select the parent category. By default, home is the parent category for everyone. If I was creating this as a subcategory of one of the existing ones, I would just go ahead and click that. For instance, if I made it laptops, then Samsung would only display under the laptops category. Uh, they sell more than that, so we're going to make it a main category. Now, root category is by default selected as no. Uh, this is only going to be selected as yes if you want to replace the home category. Okay, home is a root for everyone. If you want to replace that, you would do that. Other than that, just go ahead and leave that at the red X. Uh, description box here. It can be as detailed as you like. We're not going to be super detailed today, but we're going to give it a little bit of information. Okay, and see some tablets. There we go. Give it like three sentences or so. Uh, again, you can be a little much more detailed if you like. Uh, next is the image field. If you have a logo or a stock photo that you want to use to represent your category, you can upload that here by clicking the Browse button and selecting it from your computer. It will upload into the Presta Shop database and attach it to the category, so you'll see it that way. Uh, meta title, this is for the web page it creates for your category. This will show up in your browser tab, kind of the title of the page. So we're going to go, yeah, be short and sweet there. Okay, meta description, this shows up in the browser um, under the search engine results. It'll kind of give the Samsung products as the title of the page that comes up, and then underneath it, it kind of tells you uh, a, a short description of what the page is about. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and give a, take the first sentence here of the main description and use that. You don't have to use this, the same verbiage here. You can use whatever you want. Uh, but just kind of paraphrase the main description. That way people can understand what they're searching for. Next you have the meta keywords. Uh, this helps the search engine find your page. So you want to be as descriptive as possible by giving as many keywords that are relative as possible. Each one separated by the enter key. So once you type in a uh, keyword here, just go ahead and hit enter. And then once you have them all in, move on down to the friendly URL field. The friendly URL field is used for identif yeah, identifying the um, category without using the default generated um, category ID that the database uses. It does go ahead and duplicate the title of the category down here. So if, if I had made an Apple category up top, it would say Apple here. And this is uh, better for trying to describe the URL and say scottronics.com slash Samsung as opposed to scottronics.com slash category ID 27 or something like that. All right, and then last we have the group access. Uh, by default, all groups can see your products, your categories here. If you want to have it available only to certain people, say the customers only, which is registered customers, you could turn the other two guys off. All right, but for the most part, everybody can, can see everything. All right, go ahead and scroll up, make sure everything looks good. All right, and once you're happy with that, click the Save button. All right, it says creation successful up top. And actually, we are in the Samsung category right now. That's why you don't see anything else uh, listed here. Uh, if you had any subcategories or something that were added later, you know, you would show they would show it while you're inside the Samsung category. But we want to make sure it's all good. So we go to catalog here, categories, 
and then there you can see the Samsung category is in our list now. Okay, uh, it has the name, has the description, and it is displayed, which means it will show up on the uh, the main store. Uh, don't worry too much about the ID number. These are generated incrementally. Uh, they're only used once. They're basically for database use. Um, so no worries about changing those or anything because you can't. All right, once we're good, we're going to go visit the store and make sure it shows up. All right, we'll visit the store here. And you'll see under categories, the three default and then the new Samsung category. So people can click under there once we add products, which will be in a future video here. Uh, you'll be able to click there and see all the Samsung products that are available. All right, so that's adding the category to your admin area of your Presses Shop store. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. This is Scott with InMotion Hosting. Have a great day.